A Georgia woman has been charged with involuntary manslaughter after her three dogs attacked her 80-year-old mother to death, according to police. Tanjia Gesselman, 48, has been charged with reckless conduct and felony, involuntary manslaughter. Her dogs were pit bulls who were naturally known to be aggressive and vicious. This is also not the first incident where a domestic animal has attacked their owners and other members of the family. But before I scare you away, let me ask you, do you have dogs at home? And do you consider them to be safe animals? Watch the video as we show you why animals, whether wild or domestic, should never be underestimated. Before we get into this terrible event, I kindly ask you to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you become a member of the Fierce Zone family. Thank you in advance. Before we get back into this heartbreaking story, let's go through what a real American pit bull is and how dangerous it can be. As you are aware, the American Pit Bull Terrier is a dog breed recognized by the United Kennel Club and the American Dog Breeders Association, but not by the American Kennel Club. This is a strong, short-haired dog with a wide head, deep chest, and medium to large stature. However, you may be surprised to find that there is no such thing as a pit bull where origins originate in the British Isles. These dogs are known to be strong-willed, friendly, intelligent, affectionate, stubborn, loyal, clownish, obedient, gentle, courageous, lifespan 8 to 15 years, mass 16 to 27 kg, male adult, 14 to 23 kg, female adult, height 45 through 53 centimeters male, 43 to 50 centimeters female, colors include black, white, brindle, fawn, tan, brown, blue, gray, and red, origin, United States, United Kingdom, British Isles. Superior classification, dog. Pit bull type canines are frequently subjected to discriminatory prejudice. Because these canines were developed for their muscular physiques, they have been employed in brutal dogfighting sports. As a result, they have earned the undeserved reputation of being highly violent dogs. Pit bulls are often extremely affectionate, devoted, and gentle with their family members. They're very lively and eager to please. Pipples, according to Union Lake Veterinary Hospital, are one of the canine breeds with a terrible reputation for violent behavior toward people and other animals. Can pitbulls, on the other hand, turn on their owners? Is it a simple misunderstanding? Let's find out as we explore it in this post, as well as the various causes of pitbull attacks on their owners. Pitbulls can, in fact, turn on their owners. Pipples were also ranked number one among dogs involved in dog attacks. Pipples were responsible for 64.8% of dog fatalities between 2005 and 2020. However, dogs, particularly pit bulls, do not turn on their owners anywhere. According to VCA Animal Hospitals, the most common reasons for canine aggression against their owners include conflict aggression, defense aggression, fear-based aggression, status-related aggression, possessive aggression, redirected aggression, and food guardian aggression. Furthermore, pet owners are reliable for their pet's conduct. Aggressive dogs are frequently the result of inadequate training, discipline, and socialization during their formative years. Statistics on pit bull attacks and deaths. Pit bulls high attack and fatality rates contribute to their unfavorable image. Here are statistics on pit bull attacks and fatalities over the years. First, according to Nixon and Mystery, dog attacks and bites in general rose during the pandemic, with teenagers and children accounting for 40% of the casualties. Pit bulls accounted for 72% of the 46 fatal assaults in 2020. Second, from 2005 to 2020, pit bulls scored highest among dogs that caused deaths, with a rate of 64.8%, a higher percentage than other dog breeds. Rottweilers come in second with 11%. Pit bulls murdered 96% of cats killed by dogs and 94% of dogs fatally injured by other dogs in 2017. Meanwhile, canines were responsible for 88% of human disfigurements, 74% of farm animal fatalities, and 68% of human deaths. Furthermore, the number of pit bull-related attacks grew by 830% between 2007 and 2015. The pet owner of family members are the most common victims of these attacks. These attacks are really concerning. However, it is important to realize that this behavior does not appear out of anywhere and is due to more than simply a pit bull's character and heredity. Do pit bulls suddenly attack? Pit bulls, as previously said, do not attack other people or animals out of nowhere. Some individuals may believe that their pets never showed symptoms of violence, 
Experts believe pit bulls may have displayed modest signals of aggressive behavior before the disaster. As a result, below are some probable subtle symptoms of dominating aggressive behavior in pit bulls. Firstly, excessive barking at close range where they're aggressive when people come too close to them. Secondly, pit bulls can stand tall with a puffed up chest where they have flared nostrils and seem angry. Thirdly, they may be snarling, growling, or burying their teeth, showing one strength and power is a sign of both aggression and dominance. Fourthly, these dogs will be moving their tails stiffly from side to side while maintaining it high. This is the pit bull equivalent of waving a flag. And finally, their ears will be erect. However, most dominantly aggressive dogs do not show any indicators before launching or attacking. Some dogs will attack you because they're afraid. When dogs feel threatened, it is instinctive for them to protect themselves. As a result, they may attack you, thinking you're assaulting them. Pit bulls will attack if they're agitated or enraged. For example, there have been various instances of toddlers attempting to ride on the back of a pit bull, resulting in the pit bull biting them. Their aggression may also be due to various reasons like stress, neglect, and abuse, leading them to attack other people and family members. What dog breeds produce pit bulls? Pit bulls are either American Bullies, American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, American Bulldogs, or a combination of these breeds. These breeds were originally formed by combining Terriers and Bulldogs, but they are now recognized as different breeds. What is the cost of a pit bull? It all depends on whether you want a pedigreed dog or not. A show quality puppy from a recognized breed can cost between $1,000 and $3,000. However, mixed breed pit bulls are available at practically every shelter or foster agency in the United States for the cost of an adoption fee. How big is a pit bull? Pit bulls range inside from modest to huge weighing between 30 and 80 pounds. They might look larger than they are because of their strong muscular physique and huge broad heads. How old are pit bulls? Pit bulls live an average of 12 to 14 years. You can keep your bully breed pet healthy and happy far into the senior years by giving them well-balanced food offering lots of chances for play and exercise, visiting the doctor for checks and healthcare on a regular basis, and spending time with your pet every day. Pit bulls are dangerous? Because of their origins in dogfighting, pit bulls have a negative image as vicious canines. In actuality, the majority of them are loyal, friendly dogs who make terrific home companions. It is true that some owners actively teach or encourage their bully breed dogs to be violent, either as fighting dogs or as guard dogs. Do pit bulls have a lot of shedding? Despite the fact that bulldog breeds have short hair, they do shed. However, because their fur is coarse and short, lost hairs are less visible than shed hairs from longer-haired breeds. Brush your pit bull once or twice a week using a dog brush made up for short hair breeds to reduce shedding. Bathing your bulldog with a mild dog shampoo will help minimize the amount of lost hair on your furniture, clothes, and carpet. Before we continue this bizarre event, I'd like you to ask you to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thank you in advance. On the evening of October 7th, officers responded to a 911 call and arrived at the family's house in Trope County, Georgia. When they arrived, they discovered Rosetta Gesselman on the home's floor. She was hurt and bleeding. Three huge dogs bolted out a doggy door into the backyard. The old woman was taken to a neighboring hospital, where she died as a result of her injuries. Three enormous dogs were witnessed escaping out a dog flap onto her backyard, according to Trope County Marshal's office officials. One of the dogs was a female pit bull mix, while the other two were male pit bull and Great Dane mixes. According to investigations, the canines had previously displayed violent behavior, including murdering other household pets. The inquiry into the case of Tangia Gesselman's death is still ongoing. The incident comes just days after two small children were cruelly killed by their family dog in Tennessee and their mother was taken to the hospital with critical injuries. A two-year-old girl, a five-month-old infant, and their mother were viciously mauled by their family dogs last Wednesday near Shelby Forest State Park, north of Memphis. The children were declared dead at the scene and their mother, Christy Bernard, 30, was taken to the hospital in severe condition. She had interfered in an attempt to keep the dogs away from the children, but was injured as a consequence of the assault. The attack lasted about 10 minutes, and she had bite marks all over her body. Officers are investigating how the event occurred, so it's unclear what motivated the dogs to attack the children and their mother. What do you think about pets now? Are humans safe from them? Let us know in the comments. 
I want to thank you for watching this video and would like to ask you, if you haven't already done so, to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss the next video. Thanks in advance.